What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, today I'll be doing my top 20 favorite wrestlers of all time, man. Of all time. This was inspired by those who was in the AEW live streaming and reactions chat. You guys inspired this video. So, I had to take time to figure out who I was, who I was going to put in my top 20 and boy when I tell you this took so much time it took me about 30 minutes to really think who was going to be in my top 20 I had to take some people out I had to put some people in it was it was it was mind-boggling there's a lot of great wrestlers that I've seen as a kid as a young adult as an adult and it, it was just very tough to really put this list together but I think I did the best I possibly could. Now, I have to put a disclaimer because, you know, somebody's going to feel some type of way because their favorite wrestler isn't on my favorite top 20 list. This is my favorite top 20 list. This is not yours. This is just mine. We can discuss our, or compare our list down in the comment section down below. So if you don't see your favorite wrestler, it's okay. It's okay. This is just my personal list. So, I just want to put that out there because I already know. Oh, how you don't have this guy? How you don't have this guy on there? You gotta have this person. I'm sorry. I just, I'm, if I do, I do. If I don't, I'm sorry. So, we're going to work from 20 all the way to number one. And these are the people I've ranked. 20 is the my least favorite of the, of the list. And number one is my most favorite of the list. All right. So, let's start with number 20. Number 20 for me has to be none other than jeff hardy bro as a kid seeing jeff hardy do the crazy stunts that he was doing jeff was always the guy that didn't give a damn about his body and was just ready to jump off the highest thing possible and we always thought as a kid that he was like some superhero superhuman someone that's willing to jump off a 20-foot ladder to 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 show out for the crowd i thought that was fantastic i love me some jeff hardy I hope he gets better. I hope he's getting the help that he needs right now in rehab. I'm, I'm not sure if he is in rehab, but hope he's getting the help he needs. But the dude literally was taking life, years off his life to entertain us on. How many WrestleMania spots have we seen with Jeff Hardy? That he, he had to be on my top 20 list. Love me some Jeff Hardy, man. Daniel Bryan is the number 19 spot for me. Um, I had to put him in my top 20 of all time only because of how he he doesn't fit the mold of a WWE champion, world champion. He doesn't fit the mold, but he's one of the last few people in a very long time that got organically over to the point where they were getting mainstream attention because of his work ethic, because he, he never gave up, because he was what we wanted to see what the fans wanted to see was this was our guy this was our guy who's gonna fight no matter how big you are how matter how tall you are he was gonna wrestle you in that ring he made the he he wasn't sports entertainment he was a wrestler first and you bought into that and you wanted to see him win so i have to put daniel bryan at number 19 18 you think you know me you think you know me gotta put edge on there Edge is fantastic, bro. Every time you heard you, you think you know me. You knew something was about to go down. When Edge finally turned heel, like truly proper heel, on his uh, main event run, when he took the title from John Cena, the rest was history, bro. Edge was just a sick, despicable, slimy human being. And you, and you hated him when you was watching him, but as you got older, you appreciated it. The man literally was took matt hardy's girl from him and it was cool and it turned that into a storyline that was a real thing edge is fantastic bro fantastic i love me some edge bro uh, I, I there's not much i can say bro he was great with christian as a tag team and when he became solo it, he just he knew he had he had the star power bro i love me some edge and that's why he's number 18 number 17 I hear voices in my head. Randy Orton. Got to put him in this list. We got to talk about ball-headed Randy Orton. The sadistic viper Randy Orton. The Randy Orton that will punt your grandmother in the head just because he feels like it. 
that Randy Orton, to hear voices in my head, Randy Orton, easily one of the best personas in wrestling. His legend killer persona was fantastic too. Dude, he's just he's just talented. He's just talented. He has the look. He his in-ring ability was great. And of course, he has one of the coolest finishers. The RKO. Randy is, you know, it's basically a diamond cutter. But still the move, the finisher that people want to see, the finisher that a lot of people know. It's part of one of the greatest memes by Michael Cole. Watch out, watch out, watch out. You know what I'm saying? The RKO. Everybody knows what that is. Everybody wants to see the RKO. And you gotta put Randy Orton in the in 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 your, in your top something. He gotta be at least top 20. Randy Orton goaded, bro. So Randy Orton's number 17. Number 16, CM Punk, man. CM Punk deserves to be on my all-time 20 list before the simple fact that, well, hell, you watch AEW Dynamite, he had a fantastic promo. When you give him a microphone, it's literally a pipe bomb. And for those who don't know, I've said this story a billion times, CM Punk is the main reason I came back to watching wrestling. Deadass. Once I saw his pipe bomb promo on YouTube, I watched Raw that next week to see what was going on. And I kept watching Raw for a while. Money in the Bank 2011 was my first pay-per-view I had watched in years. He brought me back to wrestling because I just wanted to see what was going on. The dude, dude has it. Solid worker in the ring. Enjoy his work in the ring. He's had some very great feuds. And uh, I, I like... I just like his I don't give a crap attitude on the microphone. He knows how to get you hype. He knows how to make you feel. He knows how to promote a match. So I, I got to put CM Punk in there. Number 15, Hulk Hogan. Now, I can't really say too much about the, the old Hulk Hogan, the one that was winning all the matches in WWF at the time. The the eat your eat your vitamins and you know say your prayers, brother Hulk Hogan. But I can talk about the NWO Hulk Hogan, the Hollywood Hogan. That yo easily one of the best heel turns ever in wrestling. That is the best heel turn ever in wrestling because no one thought Hulk Hogan would ever turn heel. And I'm not gonna lie to you. The NWO, that when he was with them, Nash, Scott Hall, bro, it was one of the coolest factions ever, bro. Like, it was one of those things where it transcended wrestling. People loved the NWO. People wanted to be the bad guys. I liked the NWO. I did. And I love me some DX. But at the same time, I love me some, <laughs> some of the NWO. So Hollywood Hulk Hogan, fantastic, bro. And, you know, granted... Granted, there were some weird booking decisions, obviously, what they were doing in WCW. But you can't deny that shit was cool, bro. You wanted to be a part of the NWO. So I have to put Hulk Hogan in that list. Um, number 14, Ric Flair. Once again, Ric Flair is kind of before my time. But I was able to either check out some of his past matches and clips. Or I was able to check out what he was doing in WWE or WCW at the time. Like, Ric Flair is one of those, he, he's synonymous with wrestling. Everyone, everybody didn't hit the woo, everybody. When I first got introduced to Ric Flair and I seen everybody just doing woo, it made me want to do woo and I didn't know why I was wooing. But as I got older, I can understand a lot of our favorites, a lot of people that are on this list, they looked up to Ric Flair. They modeled after Ric Flair, bro. Willing and dealing, styling, profiling. I'm like, bro. My man is living a good life. And I, I always thought his persona and his, you know, the grandioso vibe you would have when he comes to the ring with his robe on. I always thought that was that was cool. It's like, bro, he he he's a legend. Like people, people bowing down to him as he walking down the ramp. It's Ric Flair. I had to put him in this list. Even though I haven't seen a lot of his older matches, obviously, because I wasn't even born then. But I can respect the matches he was able to put on. And I can just respect what he was able to bring to the business, you know, and who he is. It's fucking Ric Flair, bro. You can't not help yourself but woo when Ric Flair comes out there. Um, Number 13, Rey Mysterio. Booyaka, booyaka. 619, I love me some Rey. I've always liked Rey. Rey was SmackDown. He was the heart of SmackDown. Rey 
with the 619 finisher with the, the cool costumes that he would wear the you know the matching color coordination costumes he would wear and he really put the lucha style of wrestling he made it he made it cool to see on mainstream television that's the thing it's always been cool for people who are a fan of it but i didn't know what lucha style was until i saw ray wrestle and and how the moves were i was like bro this is this is actually pretty entertaining he was able to bring that him and eddie so definitely i had to i had to put ray mysterio he's the ultimate underdog baby face and i love ray bro so he is number 13 on my list number uh 12 roman reigns now roman reigns probably would have been higher on this list if they would have turned him heel many years ago but since they didn't he's lower on this list but i will say this roman reigns ever since he turned heel has done the best work of his career the best work he has ever ever done bro he is he is single-handedly he was carrying smackdown he was carrying wwe on his back now as of late when his new contract stipulations and stuff like that you don't really be on the show it kind of sucks but i will say him turning heel and what he's turned he literally did a 360 on his character his persona and i've loved it he's had some of the best matches in his career these past two years i've loved it i loved it granted it is time for him to drop the titles but i did love it and honestly he's been he's been the guy he's been the guy now he's the guy that the fans want to see before he was the guy that vince wanted us to see so i, I have to put him in uh in uh my top 20 uh number 11 it's gonna surprise some of you guys uh brock lesnar i put brock lesnar as number 11 because when brock came in he was the next big thing to do it was just a freak of nature it just made no sense how athletic this guy was and then even when he left and for him to do the things he did in ufc whether you like him or not gotta show respect and you know tip your hat to him him coming back some of the stuff he was doing in a sense when he first came back it was very exciting the only thing with brock that kind of kind of dropped him down definitely on the list is obviously the part-time champion and the matches where he's doing the same moves over and over and over but when he's actually when he was young in his career and wrestling kurt angle and stuff actually having some like some interesting matches the dude was he was that guy bro there was no denying it and even when he wrestles people and actually wants to work the dude is fantastic and it's brock he's it's, it's brock he is the he's a very special attraction you know people are going to want to see him cause carnage so i have to put him at least on the, the numbers 11 spot on my list now number 10 it's going to surprise a lot of you guys goldberg is my number 10 spot you'll probably be thinking what goldberg you hate goldberg i hate how they booked him when he came back goldberg when i was a kid i always wanted to see goldberg versus stone cold i knew who goldberg was i knew his streak was undeniable i knew he was really just a couple of moves in the ring and then that was it you wanted to see the spear you wanted to see the jackhammer one two three that's that's it that's it and it worked for that time period he wasn't the best in ring worker or anything like that dude was just you know serviceable at best goldberg worked because people wanted to see how long he was going to keep winning <laughs> bruh his spears are just devastating his theme music was so cool him coming out standing in his little biker jacket sometimes or whatever or just standing with no shirt on in the sparks just hitting him and he's blowing out the smoke that shit was cool as a kid seeing that that shit was fantastic so goldberg definitely 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 top 10 when he won the w when he won the, uh, the world heavyweight championship the crowd just erupted beautiful moment beautiful moment goldberg back then was the guy even his little run in in wwe was pretty cool even though they kind of messed that up that's another video for another another topic for another video for another day but even then goldberg he definitely deserves to be at least on my top 10 list number nine john cena man the you can't see me man john cena for me um was an interesting thing when i first saw him like it worked for the time period him rapping and 
and coming out in, in like whatever city they were in in their jersey, their team's jersey. I, I was rocking with it. You know what I'm saying? Looking back on it now, a lot of it was cringe, but I was rocking with it. And the fact that he had these little custom belts, the spinner belts at that time, like spinners on cars was a cool thing. So having a custom spinner belt, I thought that was pretty cool at the time. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I do know John Cena was make a push into, you know, <laughs> uh, into oblivion in, in a sense where, you know, Vince only wanted him to win and whatnot. And I, it did kind of turn a lot of people off from him, especially me at certain points. But the one thing I can say about John that always worked is promos. He could, he could sell you a goddamn match. He can make you care about it. Whether he's getting booed out the building, he can make you care. And you can definitely tell in his later years. So, I, I, John definitely is a top 10 guy in my book. No no, no doubt about it, bro. John Cena has had some very good matches, some very good moments, and great feuds with a lot of different wrestlers. So, um, Number 8, Eddie Guerrero, bro. Rest in peace, Eddie, bro. You're lying, you're cheating, you're stealing, bro. You're coming out there in the low rider. I thought that shit was cool. That shit was so cool, bro. Coming out there in the low rider and cheating to win. And everybody loving it. And also a great technical wrestler. Dude can fantastic wrestler. People love Eddie. Fantastic wrestler. Love his frog splashes. Gone too soon. Gone too soon. Eddie Guerrero was that guy is that guy and forever will be that guy and that's why he's number eight on my list number seven the king of kings triple h triple h is number seven on my list because he, one dude was a despicable heel like i i hated triple h and that's a good thing i hated him he was just a despicable heel he was using his marriage to get across you know to take shortcuts because he was married to the boss's daughter it was it was it was great man it was great his him and dx was fantastic too i love that bro and triple h had some great funny moments and he was good on the microphone as well when he turned it up you knew triple h meant business so and it's also cool to see what he did with NXT and now what he's starting to do with the main roster. So he has to be top 10 certified. And look what he's doing behind the scenes and look what he did in the ring. He had some great matches with Mick Foley, great matches with Shawn Michaels. Man, the list goes on, bro. I love me some Triple H, bro. Dude is fantastic in the ring and on outside of the ring when it comes to behind the behind the scenes stuff. So Triple H is number seven. Number six, HBK. Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania himself. What do I have to say? Dude's fantastic. It's HBK, bro. I don't, I legit don't have to say anything other than it's HBK, bro. <laughs> the dude is Mr. WrestleMania. The matches he had with Undertaker at WrestleMania alone, it it, it, it automatically solidifies him as a as a <laughs> a top 10 person in most people's list, top 10 wrestler. Dude is great at telling a story in the ring. Great at selling, sometimes overselling. If you guys know him, overselling uh, Hulk Hogan. I believe it was at SummerSlam and whatnot. But yeah, dude is fantastic on the microphone. I love him. I love what he does in the ring, outside the ring. He, I've had some great memories. His feud with Triple H, that, that blood feud they had, fantastic. His feud with Chris Jericho. Oh, fantastic as well, bro. I, I had to put him. I had to put him in there, bro. Number five, Chris Jericho, bro. I gotta put Chris Jericho at number five, only because. And some of you could be like, oh, over at HBK. For me, Chris Jericho, he was the guy that he wasn't the guy, but you still cared about what he was doing. I mean, it's the guy that beat Stone Cold and The Rock in the same night. You cared about what he's doing. Whether he was a heel or a face, you cared. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, it was something about Jericho. His moves were great. You know, he was good in the, great in the ring, great on the microphone. And Jericho's the one in a few people. He was always able to reinvent himself. You guys remember when he came back with the light-up jacket, shorter haircut, you know what I'm saying? And then when he came back again and he was more with the suit and tie, he was a heel. He's so good. And then when he had the whole list gimmick, 
That shit was hilarious. He he's good with the comedic timing. He's good with changing up his character. I have to put him in the top five because Chris Jericho, bro, even to this day, he's still doing some pretty good work at the age he's at and still finding ways to reinvent himself. Some people like it, some people don't like it, but I Chris, he gotta be. He gotta be in the top five for me. Um number four, Kurt Angle. Dude, do you suck chance even though <laughs> you know that even even when he was a face, people would hit the you suck chance, but the dude, he wrestled with a broken freaking neck. You gotta put Kurt Angle in there. He he was good as a chicken shit heel. He was good as a face. The whole milk mania running around copying the Stone Cold uh beer truck situation. That was cool. And the dude could go in the ring. The matches he had were Brock Lesnar fantastic bro even i even found out about perk angle when he went to tna to some of the crazy shit he was doing there bro i come on bro it's 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 fucking kurt angle is easy without a doubt one of the best to ever ever do it bro and one of the best wrestlers to ever do it number three this bro this is when it really got tough it, it got super tough at this point bro like really tough i have to put the undertaker at number three only because it's the fucking undertaker easily Vince man's greatest character creation the dude literally is a dead man and people love him the his entrance alone is worth admission man it, it may take him 20 minutes to get to the ring but they're so grandioso the fact that the dude Bro, he was just a badass. Even when he went the the Undertaker badass, the American badass gimmick, that shit was cool. He can hold his own on the microphone. He loved his move set, bro. Undertaker is one of those characters that wrestling fans will always instantly know who this person is, bro. Once you hung that hurt the gong, you knew somebody was probably about to get tombstone. Number two. Number two for me. It's a tough one. But it's The Rock, man. The people's champ. I mean, it's the, he was so funny. He's, he was so charismatic. As a heel, he was fantastic, funny. As a face, same way. He had great one-liners. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Like, bro, he has one-liners for days. He's one of the few people, once you hear, if you smell, crowd gonna pop. It's The Rock. Mega movie star. Dude is great. He's, Rock is the one person I know Over the years of his life He just gets more buff That's insane That's crazy And he's great he, he knows how to sell a match He knows how to get you excited for a match Like the dude The dude knows what, what he's doing bro he, he's, he Once he turned heel It was just a million miles an hour bro and the, I remember as a kid watching him with the Versace drip and the, the nice shades and the dress. You're all like, bro, that's a cool motherfucker right there. Cool, bro. Love the Brahma Bull, man. Rock is my number two. And before we get into the number one, I have to make an honorable mention, bro. I got to put Mick, Mick Foley definitely an honorable mention. I'm going to honorable mention this person. Some people may not agree with it. Chris Benoit, bro. Chris Benoit is definitely an honorable mention. I'm not condoning what he did to his family that's sick and fucked up. So that's one thing I cannot condone. But I will say this. The dude was fantastic in the ring. There, you can't deny that. He was great in the ring. But I, I don't condone what he did towards the end of his life or whatnot. So he's an honorable mention. I want to put uh, Batista in an honorable mention. Uh, when Batista was moving up in the ranks with Evolution and split off from evolution then was the guy on smackdown batista was that guy batista was that guy they build him up to be that guy so i have to put him in the honorable mentions as well bro so while editing this video i realized i forgot to put kane in the honorable mention section kane arguably has if not my favorite wrestler theme music and he's the devil's favorite demon. Kane used to scare the hell out of me as a kid. Now, as he took the mask off and he went rogue for a little bit, then he wasn't as menacing as he used to be back in the day. But I will say this. Kane with the mask on was a true beast. Definitely scared the hell out of me. And when he took the mask off and went rogue for that little period of time where he was just evil and demonic, that shit was great. And, of course, obviously, he has 
my favorite wrestling theme song. So I forgot to mention them in the video. I had to make sure I at least said it because it's Kane. Come on now. It's Kane. So that's my honorable mentions. Now let's get to the number one spot. I think you guys know who the number one spot is. I didn't even mention them on this list. And if you know where number two was, which was The Rock, the number one can only be Stone Cold Steve Austin, bro. Anytime I heard that glass break as a kid, I lost my shit. And what made it even better is JR selling Stone Cold anytime he came into the arena. It's Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. Like, you just got hyped. Anytime he hit, kick somebody in the gut, hit him with the stunner, crowd went insane. His promos was great. The what chance was great. I got in trouble at school for saying the what chance to a teacher. Stone Cold was one of the greatest. And what made him work so well was the simple fact that he was feuding with the boss. And we've all had that notion or had that moment of we don't like our boss at a particular job. And how many of us wanted to be able to stone cold stun our boss or give our boss the middle finger? Now, granted, I was a kid around that time, so I didn't have no bills. But I definitely wanted to do that to the teachers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I definitely wanted to hit a couple of my teachers with a stone cold stunner and give them the middle finger. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, stone cold, without a doubt for me, is my favorite wrestler of all time. And that is my top... 20 favorite wrestlers of all time now i'm gonna pass it off to you guys what is y'all top 20 list looking like let me know down below i would love to compare y'all top 20 list to my top 20 list and uh, there's no wrong answer here and once again if you didn't see your favorite wrestler on this list don't take it personally man it was just very tough to really put this list together and i you know this is just some of the people that i were I was really big fans of watching and growing up, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, let me know down below what your favorite wrestler list is looking like, top 20, and we can have that discussion in the, uh, in the comment section. But shout out to the chat for giving me this great idea for a video. So make sure you guys don't miss out on our live stream reactions. You guys may inspire another video that we can potentially, you know, that I can potentially put on the channel for you guys. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one.